really surprised me and was like, we're going out of state, not out of state, we're going upstate. And I was like, well, he didn't say that, but basically that's what happened. So he told me, oh, are you free these days? Somebody wants to know if you can like host something. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm free those days. Whole time he was buying tickets for this trip. Well, not tickets, he was renting the hotel. Anyway, so we're gonna be staying one night. We're gonna be, it's like what, eight o'clock right now. Um, it's only like an hour away, which is fabulous. Get our bags packed, everything packed. I'm so excited. Um, this is a town that we've wanted to go see. And they're supposed to be having like, this big flea market because today is Sunday. We leave tomorrow, but we're gonna go hiking tomorrow morning because the weather's supposed to be really lovely. Oh, look at my nails, y'all. Yeah, so what better time to vlog than when we're heading out of town? It's been so long since I put up a vlog, so hi everybody. Hello if you're new, welcome back. I hope you enjoy. So we just want to go find something to eat right now because we are hungry. We want to go maybe have brunch or something. There is a restaurant in the hotel. Hope you guys can hear me. There's a restaurant in the hotel, so we're gonna go talk to them, possibly talk about upgrading our food, ask about food, and then go on our adventures. A Beacon Falls Cafe. so cute it is so precious also uh, we just had our breakfast we're heading out to the flea market to go see what all they got out there oh, it's so cool. it's like one of those like little hallmark towns like if i wanted to film like a cute little hallmark-esque situation i would come out here ty found some heat Oh, come on. What else are you looking for, baby? I don't know. Just open it finds me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I found the cutest ring. I'm leaving here with at least one of these. Absolutely. Ty and I are gonna buy a house out here just because, just for funsies. Okay, we are back in the car, everybody. So we just came back from the, what's it called? Maybe the flea market. And I got a bunch of jewelry, vintage, gold, <laughs> stuff. Ty got a whole bunch of records for like dollar and magazines and comics and stuff. So he's gonna show you some stuff, but let me show you what I got. So please look at these rings. So I got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous ring. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna be wearing it right here. Oh my gosh. It's so big, it's so loud. It's so beautiful. Just like me. I got these two rings. So I got this one. Last but certainly not least, gorgeous earrings. I'm so happy. I'm gonna wear these and the big obnoxious ring to dinner tonight and forever. Okay, time for my baby's haul. <laughs> so, um, I got a Luther Vandross cassette. Ooh. Don't even have a cassette player, but it'll make for good decor, like in bookshelves and stuff. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot about this novel for a while. This is Zora Neale Hurston, Their Eyes Were Watching God. We got some Aretha Franklin. Mm -hmm. The Gospel Soul of Aretha Franklin. Mm -hmm. Yo, our record collection, please, our record collection is worth so much money. Aretha Franklin, Queen of Soul. Sonny Rollins. He's obsessed. Hits. He loves Sonny Rollins. And this is my favorite one that he got. Motown Monster Hits. 
Heard about this one. Quincy Jones, the dude. Soul to Soul. It says, recorded live in Ghana, West Africa. And um, I got some arts and culture magazines. So this is a magazine called Juxtapose, and it's a photography issue. Yo, if we wanted, we could open up a vintage shop. Yeah, this is an arts issue. And then lastly, you got, I didn't even know you had more. Oh yeah. Um, I got a graphic novel mm. of Afro Samurai. It says the new director's cut edition from the cult classic manga. So the flea market, the flea market was clearly good to us. Clearly you can see what Ty likes to get <laughs> at versus what I like to get. But, um, oh, he got it for me anyways, because this is my baby and he loves me so much. So right now we're just like resting up in the car real quick. Just like we wanted to come drop off our stuff and then we're going to go back on Main Street. There's like some vintage shops out there, some pastry places, like a lot of, you get a lot of vinyl shops, a lot of places with vinyls. Uh, excuse me. Anyways, more vintage shops, some antique shops. I'm like, that is where I want to be. I want to go see all of that stuff. Yeah. So guys, I'm already having such a good time. The day is just getting started. <sighs> I love little getaways like this. I love anything that just brings me away where I can just go somewhere else and see something new. <music> into a photo shoot so we're gonna have to go do a photo shoot because yeah. can't do a photo shoot without my lip gloss so baby what's going on so there's a photo shoot happening here for a magazine and they're taking photos of people who live and work in Beacon so we can get our photos taken antique store and Ty just saw his dream camera. This is the second time he's ran into this camera. It has to be his. Hey, good looking. What's cooking? <laughs> These lamps. <gasps> Baby, what's that? That's a cash register. You see the down there. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, and, uh, oh, hey, hey,
were in our room, we checked in, we walked all up and down Main Street. We saw everything there was to see on Main Street and it was really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, and our plan was to do that. So we are on our itinerary. We wrote down an itinerary and we are doing every single thing that was in our itinerary on to the T. Um, we were going to go to come to our room, check in, all of that, freshen up, and then go to this castle. But it turns out the castle, they don't open up season until the 29th of April this month. So that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna go see what else we can do. Probably gonna go to the waterfall and get like some up close like footage and stuff of the waterfall and just like witness it closer. And then we set a dinner reservation for 6.30. I'm really excited about dinner. Excited to just get cute, get dressed up, go out, eat good. Praying that the food is good. Um, my baby's right over there. Praying that the food is good, the drinks are good. Time will be good. I'm so tired, I could use a nap right now. So that's just like gonna be the rest of our day. It's gonna be pretty chill. This is definitely one of those places where you come and you just like, you aim to relax. Like, so chill, I like it. Fresh air, out the city. There's no hustle and bustle. I'm like, hmm, I feel like I could get used to this maybe. Put a Jamaican restaurant somewhere around here and I'd move here. I like, I love New York City because we're still in New York. I love the city. But I think for me, I, I really just need to be around my culture. Like I need there to be like a lot of Jamaicans nearby. Like I love when I'm in the city and I'm just like walking around. The city meaning like New York City, like Queens, whatever. And I'm walking around and I just hear like a random person with a Jamaican accent. It just, you know, it, it makes you feel like you're home kinda. It just gives you that reminder that it's not just you. Come for us to get ready to go out. Ty's watching basketball, the women's college basketball um, finals. And I'm about to start getting ready because I know I take forever. So I'm just setting up my makeup right now. I just got out of the shower. And getting ready to go to dinner. I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it took the longest nap. I just came over here to take pictures of me because he said I look really beautiful and it's like really nice portrait light. My baby's book. Anyways, let me get this makeup on and done because it's 5.45 and our reservation is for 6.30. Like, cause you gotta keep playing, but you're gonna lose, you know? Oh yeah, they about to get crazy. Are any of the players on the team from Louisiana?
Oh my god, this is their first! Vlog world, hello. Ooh, why is this leaning, baby? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hello, we just came back from dinner and I'm, we're getting ready to head out to, I guess like a little nightcap or something. Um, there's a little restaurant, please, these earrings. Oh my gosh, same makeup. I'm just gonna freshen it up a little bit and do the little side of my edges. Some edge control. There's some edge control that I put in this little container. And I'm just gonna make some little curls on the side. And more right here. Perfect, and then I'm just gonna Touch up my makeup a little tiny bit with a little powder. I got this powder from the beauty supply store. But guess what? It works. So I'm not pressed. Oh, pressed powder. I'm not pressed. Period. Um, my eyes are not even creasing. Simple. Bring this with me, and yeah. All right. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be extra and wear a red lipstick. With no liner. Okay. 
to be just how long will you stand next to me? For we both know it's more than a load for you to bear. It break my heart, but I don't understand if you'd leave me for another man with a little less on his mind, less on his plate, less in his brain. Drinking my water. Oh, baseball says I'm pushing me. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, I'm sipping on, drinking some water, complimentary water from the hotel. And Taj already ready to go. Checkout is at 11, but we still have more time. I want to spend every second in this room just resting because we're going to go hiking this morning. After we leave the room, we're going to go over to the waterfall see it up close and all of that get some breakfast and then go hiking and then see whatever we have energy for we were able to stick to everything on our itinerary from yesterday the only thing we didn't do was go to the castle because that doesn't open until the 29th but it's okay because we were tired we came back to the room and knocked out we were not uh, but that nap was so needed because we were so tired I didn't realize how tired I was until I laid on the bed and I was like oh my gosh also I'm about to transform our bed into like a hotel-esque bed not the white sheets because I don't deal with that but just like the softness like I'm like oh a lot of mercy baby turn around hi what's up y'all <laughs> why are you so cute you got me speaking <laughs> Speaking about his book that he wrote, look at my baby right there. Tyra Hunt, filmmaker, writer, cultural worker, period. I'm so proud of him. So adorable. Look at this one. Love, that. Love a good porch. Turn right onto Verplank Avenue. So far, all the food we've had in Beacon has been delicious. We just ate at the diner. Um, it was like a little brunch situation because it wasn't quite breakfast, it wasn't quite lunch. So right there, and oh, the house is so cute. Give me the land in Beacon, but in New York City, like in Queens. So cute. Yeah. I think that's the mountain we're gonna be hiking up. Oh, this yellow house is nice too. Our hotel, guys. Round house. It's bye hotel. Yeah, what time is it? Warm jacket. We stretched. Time to go. The vlog, the video I saw said prepare to be there for like four hours. So we'll see. Getting hot and bothered.
You'll try to come back when you faint. I always want the truth, but it's that You got something real, not bad. You won't get with me, stop.